In this tutorial I'm going to show you how to make a simple knockout frame. A kind of white mat that goes around the edge of the image, um, but not just a flat square one or, or white border. Something that makes it look this image look a bit more like a painting perhaps. You can make a knockout frame to look however you want it to, and as you see the technique I use in this, you'll soon be able to customise it to suit your own needs. Right, we're going to start with this image here, which is a picture that I took in Oviedo in northern Spain. And I want to add a border to it, a or frame. Initially, I'm going to just add, increase the area of the image to create a white border. And I'm going to do that by going Image, Canvas Size, and I'll add about oh, 9 centimeters around the edge of this. So let's just put 90. Get my fingers working properly. Okay, so now you see we've got a white border all around this, but this is not what I want to um, finally achieve. I want to achieve something a little bit more complicated. So I create a new layer and I'm going to fill that layer with white because that's the colour that I want my border to be. And so I can see what I'm doing. I'm just going to fade this a bit so I can see the other image coming through behind it. Now I'm going to remove some of the centre of this to show the background image through. So to do that I'm going to use an eraser and I'm going to use one of these unusual brush shapes to make it look more like I've painted this border. So you can play around with these because they all give slightly different effects. I'll try to see what this one's like. might need to be a bit bigger. Okay, that should do. And I'll take the opacity down initially to about, yeah, 35% should do. I don't want to do this all in one go, and you'll see re the reason why later on. I'm going to build this up in layers. So, right, here we go then. So just, yeah, I think this brush will do. Just roughly go over the area that you want to reveal. And initially, it's obviously not going to take that completely because we've only got this set to 35%. Don't worry too much about the centre at this stage. And try not to go over the edge of your image into the white border. I think I have done here but we can adjust that later. Okay, let's do it again. Each time you do it, it adds another 35% to it. So, I'll just do it again. Roughly all the way around, making sure that you don't cover exactly the same area as you did before. Just around the outside. Obviously, I can't quite see what's happening in the sky because the sky is white, just like the border. Let's increase this a bit. Let's go up to the yeah, F2. And go again. Now we can probably bring this opacity back up to 100% now because we know roughly where our image is. And now let's go and bring this up to 100% so our razor is now taking everything away that it touches and we've got to clean up this middle bit. If you've got a slow processor on your PC this can take a little while to do and you might find that the effect is lagging behind your brush strokes but it will catch up eventually. Okay, I think we're about done. Now just to make sure that I've deleted everything in the centre. I'm just going to use the marquee tool and go well within our boundary. Reposition it here, making sure I don't cut into any of this faded area. And I'll just delete that just to make sure there's no artefact left in the middle. Okay, deselect that. Right, okay, so that's 
roughly what I want to do. I can see here that I have just gone over the edge of my white boundary. So what I shall do is I just resize this. So making sure I've got the um, uh, border layer active. Go to Edit, Transform Scale, and I'll just pull this in. So you can see that this sharp edge here where I've gone over the edge disappears. Okay, no other sharp edges anywhere that I can see? No. Okay, I'll hit Return. Okay, and now I'm ready to flatten that. Uh, flatten image, and that's fine, that's done. Okay, so say I wanted to use this frame on another image. Well, I don't have to go through this whole process again. I can just reuse this border. In fact, I'll show you how to reuse, to save this border so that you can use it indefinitely on any, any image anytime in the future. Okay, so having saved this file, because we're now going to destroy it, um, Go back a stage to before it was flattened. We go here. Okay, so we've got our layers back. And now click on the background layer and then add new layer. And we want to fill this layer with black. So we'll swap those back around. There we go, we filled it with black. Now we've got an edge here, that's because we resized our layer. So we go back on the layers palette, swap those over, and we'll fill that bit with white. Now you can see where the sky was, as I say, I couldn't really see the edge very well. It's got a funny hard bit here, which I don't really like. So we'll go back to our um, eraser tool. And still on that layers palette, we'll just rub those bits out. Adjust it, make that a bit more like it should be. Okay, a bit better. And I'm not really quite clean about this lump that's sticking out here, so I might just um, reverse that one. Oops, what am I doing? I get a paint with a paintbrush, and you get the same size paintbrush. What's that? About that. Okay, I'll we'll just paint that one out. Perhaps you want that 100%. We'll just paint that one away. Yeah, that's better. Okay. Right, we could probably. This edge is a bit thicker than the other one, so we'll just resize that again. So edit, transform, scale, and we'll just pull that one out now to make it a bit more even all the way around. You might not have to do all this adjusting, this is just me fiddling around because I didn't think this frame was quite perfect. Right, now that's the frame I'm happy with that I want to keep. So we go Layer, Flatten Image, and then we've got to save it. So we go File, Save As, and I've already got my borders open here. I've got the borders 20, 21, we'll go for 22. Okay. Okay. And that's it. Right, I'm going to close that one down, and now I'll show you how to use it on an image. So we'll open another image, and we'll have this one here. Okay, so now I've got an image, and you can see it's, a, it's in landscape format rather than portrait, as our frame was, but that's not a problem. So we'll go File, File, Open Recent, we'll go for Border 22, which is the one that we've just created. And now we'll get both of these images up and we've obviously got to rotate this one so image rotate canvas 90 degrees that's it doesn't matter which direction and then by holding the shift key down and dragging the image across and we can just deposit it on the other one it should automatically center it but we don't have to change save those let's make this bigger again okay so it's automatically centered the image over the up other one you can see it's there but obviously you can't see it because you've got this big black center all you need to do is just change the blending go to screen which takes all the black away and there you are now if you want to make this a bit bigger if you remember I put a white border around my original image so we can just go back to this one go image canvas size and we'll increase this a little bit so make that 30 and that 23 okay there you go, we can just move this a bit. It's a bit better. Now layer, flatten image. And there's your new border on your new image. And you'll say you can keep using this border indefinitely. So have a go. Practice making your own borders using different brushes or different um, eraser shapes to create different styles until you find one you're happy with. And that's it. For more tips and tutorials on using Photoshop, why not visit my website at 
sally-jane.co.uk